Hello, I'm Belay Damoun, PhD student at LabStick, Université Bretagne Sud. Today, I will present the paper with the title The Duplication Algorithms and the Models for Efficient Data Storage, written by me and Professor Laura Condé Canencia. In this paper, we propose a data deduplication technique called a sliding window to outperform prior work done by Laura Condé. This technique is based on a theoretical information approach that jointly reduces the amount of stored data and uh, the computational complexity. It also can uh, reduce the transmitted data over a network. Data deduplication, which is currently a key feature in many cloud and uh, enterprise servers, offers a way to reduce the amount of stored data or transmitted data through uh, a network. The principle of uh, the duplication is that redundant uh, data blocks that uh, we can see here with the uh, same color uh, are uh, removed, uh, the uh, same data are removed and replaced with a pointer to a unique copy of, uh, a unique copy of uh, data leading to reduce uh, storage costs. Even if it might be considered as some sort of compression operating on a large scale, there is difference between compression and deduplication. So, for example, the compression tries to compress a unique file at a time. As you can see it here, each file has its own compressed version. However, in the deduplication case, it operates across an entire drive to remove all copies and save a unique version for each data. Also, the deduplication ex is executed by the system, so completely transparent for the user, when in the compression case, it is generally executed by the user. Another point is when an addition occurs on, uh, the, on the file, even if it's only one bit, um, in compression case, the entire file has to be compressed another time. When uh, the duplication uh, is only updating the uh, concerned block. In terms of uh, reduction, in terms of reduction ratios, the compression, uh, or specifically uh, lossless compression, offers uh, uh, two to one uh, ratios, which means that the size of the original file can be divided by two. A lossy compression offers better ratios, but uh, the original file cannot be retrieved. In the duplication case, the reduction ratios are, uh, are about 4 to 1 until 20 to 1, depending on the amount of data in the drive. Data deduplication can be used at different levels. File level, pixel length block level, and variable length block level. Depending on the situation, performances are not same, but generally the variable length block level offer good performances and uh, is the most used. For the file level, all symbols of the file are compared, and if two symbols don't match whatever their positions on the file, even if it is at the end, uh, so the file cannot be deduplicated. Then uh, symbols are uh, dependent and uh, leads to uh, bad deduplication ratios. In the case of fixed length block level, blocks are independent. It means that the duplication can be done even if some blocks don't match. As we can see it for these two compound files, two blocks uh, file X and file Y, two blocks uh, B and C uh, don't match the compound ones. But uh, all those matches are deduplicated, and so uh, the deduplication ratio are uh, better than the previous one. On the variable length block level approach, blocks are independent but also dynamic, which means that length of blocks can be adapted to deduplicate more information. As we can see on this example, that uh, uh, block B and C was divided into uh, two subblocks, B prime, B two prime, uh, C prime, and C two prime, uh, to compare uh, the duplicate part that match with uh, the compared ones. 
this uh, this leads to a uh, increase the duplication ratio by 10% compared to a, a fixed length block level approach. As on the prior work done by Laura, we use the theoretical information approach that supposes the existence of one or several replicas file Y, which were um, generated from a file X after insertion and deletion uh, introduced by um, the channel uh, with a certain probability beta i and uh, beta d. All uh, this chain and the channel model were implemented to uh, simulate behavior of the algorithm. The pivot based deduplication algorithm, or PD, presented on the prior work of Laura, proposed to divide uh, files uh, X and Y in this example to several blocks. And where each block has, uh, its, uh, has a segment and the pivot parts, uh, and where the uh, segment part is much bigger than uh, the pivot one. The advantage of this algorithm is that uh, only the pivot part has to be compared, and if they match, and if they match, so the entire block can be deduplicated. Also, this algorithm used the uh, variable length block deduplication approach. Here we can see a quick comparison with the classical deduplication uh, using hashes, uh, where a hash is computed uh, using the entire block and then the, uh, the obtained hash is compared to others. Uh, this, increase, uh, this technique increases the computational complexity compared to the uh, PD, where only the pivot has to be compared to others. Going back to the PD algorithm, if pivots don't match, uh, as in this case, uh, so the position of the uh, next pivot is, is computed and the algorithm continues its execution. However, this algorithm has limits. So when an error appears on uh, a pivot, as we can see it here with the uh, deletion of C on uh, file Y, uh, the, the algorithm cannot calculate the position of the next pivot and so stop its execution. This can lead to uh, decrease the final deduplication ratio. In this paper, we propose a new algorithm called the Sliding Window Pivot Based Deduplication Algorithm or SWPD. This algorithm allows us to compute the position of the next pivot even if there is an addition on the previous one. Its principle is that when an addition appears on the pivot as uh, the deletion of C in this example, so instead of stopping the algorithm, uh, the, the window pivot will slide it to the right until no addition appears in uh, this pivot. And then the position of next pivot can be calculated and the algorithm can continue its execution to deduplicate data. We observe in this figure the theoretical complexity of the new algorithm SWPD in red compared to PD in blue and other brute force method algorithms. Even if the number of comparison uh, for SWPD increases when, uh, when the value of beta becomes bigger, the number of comparison is still reasonable compared to PD and uh, brute force method. Also, when uh, for smaller value of beta as 10 to minus 6, the number of comparison is still 10 times better than brute force method. In this uh, example, we use the uh, segment of length 94 and pivot of length uh, 6. In the case where larger segment used uh, as segment of length 9994 with length of pivot equal to 6, uh, the number of comparison is greatly reduced for SWPD and is about a thousand times better than brute force method. Also, uh, SWPD is close to PD values and increase reasonably uh, when beta get bigger. 
In this figure, we observe the duplication ratios obtained during simulations. We did 1000 simulations using uh, files containing 120k symbols, uh, segment of length 94 and pivots of length 6. We can observe in this figure that the SWPD algorithm in red increased drastically the PD algorithm in blue uh, with 50% uh, uh, or 80% in some case, uh, depending on uh, used parameters. Also, the duplication ratios of uh, SWPD are close to brute force method block algorithm in black with much less comparison. Another limit of uh, the pivot based algorithm is the possibility to have false detections. False detection appears when the number of insertions equal the number of deletions on the same segment. In this case, the compound pivots can match even if uh, blocks don't. The initial algorithm proposes a solution to reduce force detection by using iterations. Uh, these iterations means um, divide the block into several sub-blocks, four in this case, and uh, the purpose of uh, this technique is to have a different number of insertion, is to try to obtain a different number of insertion and deletions uh, before each sub-pivot. To detect, to detect them. We can see in uh, this figure result obtained, uh, result of force detections uh, obtained after simulations and we observe that uh, iteration uh, allows, that iterations allow to uh, reduce the uh, number of force detection and we also observe that uh, at each new iteration the force detection ratios uh, decrease. The presented paper proposes a solution that uh, introduces a sliding window technique to outperform the duplication ratios of uh, prior work while keeping a low computational complexity. Also, this algorithm is uh, particularly interesting when edit rates uh, are low. To improve this work, we plan to use hashes when pivot match to when pivot match uh, to avoid false detections with uh, a low computational uh, complexity we also plan to use an index table that uh, can save all pivots and uh, compare new ones to them uh, this way we don't have to use a file reference to compare but uh, a data stream thank you for your attention